Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen. But don't just sit there, my wee twinkles. Come on, let's get busy. Oh, lovely. How would you like to make some get well cards for some of my friends? So I'll fold the paper over and I'll show you what to do. We'll stick a sad, grumpy, not well face on the front and then inside can you glue on a happy one to say, hope you're feeling better soon. Now, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan, but someone's missing from home today. Come on, Santa. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? <laughs> it's Samson with Dr Juno. Hello there. Dr Juno. Hello, and Samson. Come on, boy. Come on, come and see Granny. <gasps> come and say hello to Samson, everyone. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> We've been making get well cards. So many people seem to have bad colds at the moment. So why don't you wrap Claude up and make them all better? <laughs> Into your basket, Samson. Good boy. And we can run over to the chairs before we catch the flu. Ah, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, We're going to visit my friend Maury later. She's been a bit poorly. Oh dear. And then we're going to the town hall to get me a new recycling bin. It's a beautiful old building. Oh, it is very posh. <laughs> but you know, I don't know if I'll be able to take Samson in. I don't see why not. He's always very well behaved. I'll take full responsibility for him, just like I did with my fruit bug in the florist. Who's fruit bug? Oh, that was my wee Pekingese dog. <laughs> I took him into the florist and he got so excited with all the wonderful new smells. The manager said, Take your dog outside, madam. He's done a wee-wee on the floor. <gasps> I said, excuse me, but my fruit bug would never do a wee-wee indoors. But sure enough, he had. No! <laughs> yes, but it just goes to show, sometimes people are right when they say you are wrong. <laughs> oh, you do make me laugh, Granny Murray. <laughs> oh, oh, it looks like poor Claude could do with a good laugh. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Claude, you're not looking very well at all. No, he isn't, is he? <gasps> well done, angels. There you go. Oh, what's this? <gasps> a smiley face card. And inside, another smiley face. Yes, it's not a get well card, it's a keep well card. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Samson. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> now remember, Sometimes people are right when they say you're wrong. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Which is the best way to work? Thank you. I'm in a need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a trip wing I'll be, 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 be there quite quick Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram lines Clutter, clutter, clutter at the points Whining, 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 drives the speed up Squeaky, 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 slows us down Clutter, clutter, clutter through the street That's squeaky, squeaky to a stop I'm in the need Hurry to get changed. All scrubbed and ready to go. Hello, Dr. Juno. How are you today? <laughs> and what would you like for breakfast today? We have porridge, grapefruit, the full cooked breakfast with bacon, tomato. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> You'd be amazed to find out how many people thought they'd woken up in a dead posh hotel when I turned up to serve them breakfast this morning. Well, how come you've been doing that? Because we're so short-staffed today. Everyone's been pitching in. I've been serving breakfast up in the ward. I think we're in for a pretty busy day today, what with so many staff off sick. Were you really asking if I wanted some breakfast? Because if you were, I'd love a cup of tea and a slice of toast. My pleasure, mon chéri. I mean, coming right up, Doc. <sighs> well, I'm feeling okay. 
What about you, Samson? I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. <gasps> Whoa, well done, Samson. He's fast, isn't he? Yeah. That's you. Oh, thanks, Stephen. Now, Megan, you take this to give to Maureen. Hello! Hello, Maureen! <laughs> Good girl, Megan. And we made you a wee card to you, Maureen. <laughs> Could you give the card, Stephen? There's nothing like a waggy tear or a smiley face to cheer you up. <laughs> That's what Dr Juno would say, isn't it, Samson? <laughs> Oh, have you got a cold? They haven't come to the hospital for that. It's Anna Marie. She fell off her skateboard and hurt her knee. She can't bend her leg. Oh, dear. Oh, wait a minute. I know what the problem is. Let's have a look. There, careful. All right. You had your knee pads back to front. All right. Lift your leg for me. Oh, and bend it. OK, there All we right. are. Is she OK? I think what we have here, people, is a slight case of a um, slipped knee pad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but far more seriously, it's Mum's snuffles. I think you should go home and stay warm. Get some rest, eat well, and just drink lots of fluids. Thanks very much. OK. I'll see you later. I better get on with the rest of my work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. It's so exciting in the hospital. Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors. Flashing blue lights run up to the door. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed, yeah To hear the heartbeat beating time Don't worry, I'll always be kind I'll bring a smile and take away your worries, yeah Hello, Bobby. Oh, hi, Dr J. And hello, Kai. What can I do for you? Well, he's got a little cut on his finger. It's nothing serious, but I think it might be infected. It's terribly sore, isn't it, Kai? Yes. Well, I'd better take a look at this. Why don't you come into the examination room? OK, come on. Oh, and you two. Come on. <laughs> hey. Up we go, Kai. Oi! Go. All right, Kai. Just be a brave boy for me and let me take a look at your finger. Oh, yes, that does look sore, but it's nothing serious. <laughs> Nurse Hendry will clean it for you and then I'll bandage it properly, all right? No problem. Oh, thanks, Dr Juno. See you in a minute. Oh, poor Kai. Still, we'll take care of him. I hope Granny Murray's looking after Samson for me. Plenty of elbow grease, well, sooner the fleece sparkling. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Samson. Ah, there you are, that's me. You know my attitude to housework, little and often. And we'll take you for a nice walk to the town hall later. That'll be quiet. <laughs> There you are, a nice new bandage. 
You can leave the bandage on for 24 hours and then you can change your dressing, OK? I'll give you some cream to put onto the cut. Oh, thanks, okay. Dr Juno. There you go, Kai. Wasn't so bad, was it? Mm. But I've got to let you know, Bobby, that it's really important to keep the cut clean. We don't want to risk reinfection. So make sure that your house is clean, especially when you're dealing with Kai's finger. Excuse me? My house is exceptionally clean, thank you very much. Which is more than I can say for your hospital, which is completely filthy. Have you seen the state of the floors in your waiting room? Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Bobby. However, I disagree. My waiting room is kept exceptionally clean. You sit tight and wait for your prescription. Oh, my goodness. With everybody off work with the flu, I've been working extra hard. And now Bobby says my hospital's really dirty. Where did the time go? At 8 o'clock, I arrived at Granny Murray's with Samson. Granny Murray and the children were making get well cards because so many people have got a bad cold today. At 9 o'clock, I arrived at work. So many people were off with the flu that Nurse Henry was helping out with the breakfast. It looked like we were going to have a really busy day. At 10 o'clock, I helped a little girl who had hurt her knee. She was OK, but her mum had a really bad cold. I sent her home and told her to keep warm and take care. At 2 o'clock, Bobby brought Kai to see me. He had a small cut on his finger, and the cut had become sore and infected. At 3 o'clock, I told Bobby that she had to make sure that Kai's finger is kept nice and clean at all times. That's when she said that my waiting room was not very clean at all. I told her that she was wrong, because I always make sure my waiting room is exceptionally clean. Now remember, sometimes people are right when they say you're wrong. Sometimes people are right when they say you were wrong. Oh dear, maybe I am wrong and maybe Bobby's right. The waiting room is dirty. That's because everyone's away with the flu and we're really short-staffed. But I'll soon sort this out. But it's race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Oh. Juno. Oh, I sometimes get a bit uppity when people talk to me about things being clean. But, Bobby, you were right. Yeah, I know, but I didn't know that the hospital was so short-staffed because everyone's falling down with the flu. Honestly, I think that the Harlequin Hospital is the best. And you're the best, too. Oh, thank you. But if you hadn't told me how dirty my waiting room was, I'd never have known. Thanks again. <laughs> oh, and I hope your finger gets much better, Kai, eh? Thank you, Dr. Juno. You're oh, welcome, darling. Come on, Kai. Thanks again, Dr. Juno. OK, bye-bye. Bye. And I'm going to stay well for you, Samson. Let's see what we have to do. This way, darling. Excuse me, madam. What about that mud? Well, that's nothing to do with me. Ah, uh, but they're paw prints. Oh, Samson. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realise. I'll get him to wipe his feet the next time. <laughs> Samson. We'd better get finished up here. We'll need to get home in time for Dr Juno, won't we? Dr Juno, come away in. Samson, look Hello, who's Samson. here. Hello, Samson. Hey, good boy. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray. And thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Sometimes people are right when they say you are wrong. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. 
come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Sasa. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as though he was coming down with a bad cold. Oh, but the children were very good. They knew just how to look after him. Claude wasn't the only person feeling under the weather. I took Samson and the children to visit my friend Maureen, who was just getting better after a cold. She seemed glad to see us all, and we gave her some fruit and a get well card. Back home, the children helped me clean up the house. Samson didn't like the noise of the vacuum cleaner. Later on, I took Samson for a wee walk around the town hall. A nice man told me that Samson had walked his muddy paws right across the floor. <gasps> I didn't believe him at first, but he was right. <gasps> what a mess! Meanwhile, Dr Juno remembered that I told her, sometimes people are right when they say you are wrong. Bobby had told Dr Juno that her waiting room was a mess. Dr Juno cleaned up the waiting room and cleared up everything with Bobby as well. What a nice, tidy end to the day. And I feel fine. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. I love to skip and Come on and get on down to the city, the city. where the fairy folks dance.